I got sick. Well, it's starting to change. It's going from the blustery north wind that we were having to soon going to be a south wind. So we're going to pull in today at Fort Pierce because it's the next inlet that we can reach. It's about 16 miles away. It's a really nice easy sail at the end. Now I could put up the main and take down the trisail and all that and have more sail area up. But in about four hours, we're gonna be taking all our sails down when we arrive. So it's like, why go through all that work when I'm just gonna take them down in a moment anyway. So here we are doing about four knots, slowly making our way to Fort Pierce and we'll be arriving just as the tide changes. So we'll come in with the flood tide instead of fighting the outgoing ebb tide. We found that by using a simple clothespin on our monitor, when the helm's not perfectly balanced and you have a little bit of weather helm and the wheel turns and then kind of unspools the rope from the wheel hub, we found that putting a clothespin on it acts as the same as putting your finger on it and holding the rope on there so it doesn't come off and then you don't have the issue of the monitor coming unspooled. A slight change of plans we're gonna head into Fort Pierce um, because of weather and we can't quite make it down to Miami we do have to go back to Baltimore for a week uh, for some family stuff that came up so we're gonna be leaving the boat down here and we feel pretty comfortable on a mooring here so yeah that's the plan coming in the inlet now. So we're just getting lined up into the channel because there's rocks on either side of the inlet so we don't want to mess with those. And uh, another boat was coming in around the same time so we radioed him and he's from here. So he went first so we're going to follow him.
here to Fort Pierce. Uh, we are on a mooring ball and it is a pretty windy day. So the reason we pulled in here is the wind shifted and started blowing out of the south. So there's a small cruft advisory, which is what we're out in, uh, except that this is from the south, so we'd have to beat into that. So it's going to be blowing out of the south today, tomorrow, and the next day. So we just pulled in, grabbed the mooring ball, and we're going to take care of some boat chores and stuff. Laundry day. It's right there by the tiki bar. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, we just talked to some friends over there on the um, motor vessel 2G's. They're at the uh, Fort uh, Pier City Marina. They heard an explosion and it uh, looks like uh, a boat has exploded over there. So more to come. Fire engines are rolling. We were lucky enough to get in touch with Pate's friend Gary, who was there and filmed the entire thing. He got some amazing footage and gave us full permission to use it in our video. Yeah, that other boat's on fire too, isn't it? Yeah, that's is the other one on fire? No, oh, well, it's, it's going to be severely damaged. Yeah. Any idea what happens? They got that one out. Is that little inland shrimp boat? It looks like a pair of. Uh, I don't know. Oh. Oh. Somebody told me they got the last mango out. Just to, I mean, just after. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I saw a coast guard boat coming in as we were right moving. Right up to the fuel dock. We're getting it out pretty quick. Yeah. There's lucky that other boat didn't go with this wind. <laughs> that was good. We're here at Tillman's Barbecue. Some friends that we just met brought us here. We wanted the local flavor. And we got it. It's delicious. For some reason, Herbie has thought that it'd be fine to drill inside over the sink. Figured out why the sump pump's not working. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and if you want to become a sailing buddy, you can click the link down below to our Patreon account. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And when you click subscribe, make sure you click on the little bell in the annotation. That way, you get notifications as soon as our next video is uploaded. Thanks so much.